Twitch, are we not doing kick? Oh shit, that's right. I forgot to yeah. set up an account. <laughs> oh, that's good. Cool. Okay, let's do next week. Yeah. Okay. Next week. All right, now, now we're live everywhere. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Make Your Rain podcast, man. We're here. We're talking about anything and everything. And you got our hosts. Me, Frankie Yang, and of course, <laughs> it's, your poor, it's, your poor, it's your poor Peter Yang. <laughs> I think I got Don DeMarco, Don DeMarco, <laughs> Don DeMarco, the fuck. <laughs> oh, you have that. Oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, they have a dot. Uh, Fresh and Fit has a Don DeMarco, Don DeMarco. I don't, I don't know what that is, man. <laughs> Cool man. That's cool. That's cool. Hey man, you're looking good, dude. The lighting is different. Now we can see all of your natural features. Yeah, thanks, man. Good stuff. Uh, I decided to go natural lighting this time. Uh, lighting's a little bit harsh on this end, um, but um, I decided to just go natural with the warm and cool light this time. Right. Sweet. So, Sounds good. Um, we can see a little bit of your bed too. Nice. That's where the that's where the magic happens, eh? Yeah, that's what that's when really nothing happens, man. Nothing happens. <laughs> I'm not real with you. <laughs> I'm be real I with you. The I wish something happens. The bed's been lonely. <laughs> just, just one me. side's just been firmer me. than the other for a while now. So. Uh, that's that's sadly true, man. Sadly true. Hey, man, dude, dude there ain't there nothing wrong with um, uh, solace. I think is the term, right? Um, no, solace. Always, you know what it is? I think I think you know I I know a lot of words, I just don't know what they mean. I know how to use them, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double down on yeah, yeah. That's fair. Solace. Solace. Like I'm gonna I'm use it. Solitude, solace. Cause it solace. Because it sounds like solitude, maybe. You know, solitude solace. is not bad. I'm solace. Is that how I use it? <laughs> I, solace. I don't know. I, don't, yeah. I really don't know. Right. It sounds it sounds, it sounds cool. dope though. It sounds it like. Sounds like I- I got a bachelor degree. It's not like this boy's on something. He's on to something. Oh, what? Uh, Shit, have you heard Frankie Solace? Frankie's been Solace, cuz. He's like, Solace now? Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> man, he's so independent. And he's... Solace? Hey, <laughs> man. I need to get on this that, guy. Solace. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh, fuck, man. I like your shirt, man. Uh, spicing it up this time, dude. That's, uh... That's a unique shirt. I try, I try not I to wear this a lot, so that way I get those kind of comments. Oh, well, <laughs> I've worn this before. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's like a, what a two piece sewed together. Is that what it's? It's uh, Shein, brother. It's that fast fashion. Ooh, it's that um, global warming. Is that? Uh, Yo, we did we just watch labor. a video? About- yeah, that was last <laughs> week's episode. <laughs> Shout out to uh, she and child labor underpaying people uh, like a motherfucker. Uh, man, supporting that shit. <laughs> we, we're paying young kids tuition, man. Oh, we, we're paying them to eat. Um, but shit is cool. The election, election, shin. Um, shit is cool. They have a they have a shin store here in LA here. Yeah. Um, you know how it's always all of them is online. They have a shin store here. Yeah. Um, it's kind of cool. It was alright. They have a Fashion Nova store too. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe that. That's, that's Fashion Nova, bro. That'll be you know that'll be the place to have, to have it in LA, man. You know. <laughs> wow, it's so bad. Oh man. <laughs> Allergies, um, dude. I think so. Yeah. I want to believe so. Dude, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a fat ass migraine, dude. Like I, 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 I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to sleep it off, and then. Didn't do much. I took a thousand milligrams of Tylenol. Damn, that's a lot, bro. Yeah, well, one, one one tab is about fifty, right? Five hundred. Yeah, one one tab is five hundred, and two tab is a thousand. Man, dude. Um, yeah. For some reason, I was getting migraines this week too. Um, I took when you drink, took some Tylenol, and I took some Advil, and um, didn't really help out. Yeah. So I took a cold shower. Didn't really help out either. <laughs> uh, still feeling okay, so that's all that matters. Cool, Pushing forward. Um, well, here we are, another week, another beautiful episode. 
the Make It Rain podcast. Let's, uh, oh, what you sipping on? What you sipping on? Some roasted coffee. Dang. You gonna stay up late? Yeah, I caught it, I caught it yet for tomorrow. Oh, damn, okay. No, I'm kidding. They, uh, they are, they're like, hey, anybody want off? Fuck. I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna get off. Tight. Yeah, but I needed it. Cool. But, um, well, then in that case, well, let's go for it. Does your phone ever turn up when you dream? Does your phone ever turn up in your dream? There is not a single dream that I can recall where I remember seeing my. Uh, phone. It's, it's, it's mute. It's mute. Muted. I, I want you to try and Never remember. Muted. Never I lied. I mute. I'm muted. I don't think it's muted on your side. Turn up in your dream. There is not a single dream that I can recall where I remember seeing my phone. I want you to try and remember one dream where you saw yourself using your phone or even making a call. Isn't that concerning? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Isn't that concerning? That's not concerning. I don't know. I don't know how fucking dreams work. Dreams are work. You know, dreams are so crazy, man. Like, you can be dreaming of, like, non-relevant things or things that, like, don't even exist. And, you know, like, one of the craziest dreams that I used to have was, like, when trying to run in a dream. Yeah, man, yeah. You, oh, you can't run in a are, dream, man, you know? So. Yeah, those those are hard, man. Those are hard. Um, So, let me ask you this. Have you dreamed of using your phone in your dream? No. Like, I, so I, do I, don't think? Think, I don't think, like, any technology... Uh, I don't remember we're seeing a TV or a computer or phone. Um, probably, yeah, not not even a car either, man. I don't, I don't. Uh... Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. A car, yeah, wow, that's 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 any, true. Any technology for me, you know. Yeah, it's always just so me POV of just shit going on, you know. Humans, right? Just yeah. interactions, right? Yeah, In like situations, right? Yeah. Um. Maybe mountains. I, I, I've been on mountains before. I've been to houses. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so, you know, the reason why I picked that uh, video is because, like, we are, I feel like we are stuck in this matrix in, like, right now, you know, and, like, the real world is our spirituality beyond us, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I feel like, um, that's that's why I thought that that video was pretty like eye opener. Like, wow, that's why like our na natural state is not technology. That's why we're depressed. That's why we're like trying to, to um, avoid technology. But technology is part of our lives, and that that was me. That was, that was an eye opener. That's why you know hiking and like being out in mother nature this and just chilling at the lake is just so relaxing and and, and mindful. You know and and at peace i agree man you know just bring that up you know our natural state is uh i i you know i would agree you know spirituality right that's why i think in our subconscious state right um yeah you know, yeah we're we're you know because like literally you know we have a, a phone device with us all the time we're surrounded by technology and all that stuff but then you know for some reason when when we turn our you know heads off then that's when you know like technology don't exist as well can you, can you can you name me a time where you don't use your phone? <laughs> no, when I'm sleeping, no. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's 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 pretty much it, man. <laughs> it's either when I'm sleeping or when I'm using another technology. <laughs> if I'm on the computer, that's, I'm just like, you know, that's uh, insane, right? Yeah. That's insane. Even like uh, like holding conversation, like. You know, you you still like glance at your phone, yeah, in the conversation. You know, yeah. subconsciously. Um, that's insane, man. That's probably why I got uh, a fucking migraine right now, man. I was looking at the screen all morning, dude, and then fuck, man, my eyes hurt like a bitch right now, dude. Yeah, I think I think I think our our, our health is definitely important, man. I think it's it's, it's hard, man. It's hard because uh, there's some sometimes I catch myself too, like on screen for too long. And um, I think I think honestly, dude, I think I'm becoming weaker, like as a human being. Yeah. Like, I see it too. Yeah. Like. Oh, dude, as a, as a nation, dude. Oh yeah, dude. We we have a <laughs> yeah, we have a, a nation, yeah. we have a uh, we have a 
not not only do we have like a fat problem, but we also have a uh, a muscle problem. I, I remember watching a a short video where um, I think it was like a doctor or some shit like that saying that America doesn't have like an obesity problem; it has a muscle problem because we don't get out and active. Like like right now, I'm fucking sitting. You know, I have a standing desk, but I choose to sit. <laughs> you know, and then stuff like that. So, what? Um, hold this, man. Let's do. Do you want to? Feel better about yourself, like physically. Yes. What, what, what are you doing? That's what I'm asking. What am I doing? Best. Nothing. Yeah. Absolutely. Fair. Nothing. Let's um. Let's and let's let's um. Uh, let's stay active, man. Okay. So let's, we're uh, so we're committing. Is that what, is that yeah. what is what you put me on the spot to? Yeah, yeah. To commit to doing better. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh let's start on something, man. Um, Push ups, dude. A hundred push-ups a day. A <laughs> hundred push-ups? Damn. Yep. Yeah. Um, like, like, however you want to <laughs> fucking finish it, but you got to do a hundred a day. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm already doing uh, 65, so... Yeah. I mean, do 35 already, more, dude. That's... I, I don't mind doing that uh, at night, yeah, yeah. Or even... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, up a notch. Okay. Um, All right. All right, man. A hundred push-ups. For how many days? For a month. For a month? Okay. And then next okay. month, we can add on to it. Next month? Uh, okay, so I think one thing that I, me personally, I want to grow is uh, my abs. I need abs, bro. Okay. You want to see my tummy? Then nobody wants to see my tummy. Dude. Yeah, dude, hell yeah, dude. I've been, I've been waiting nobody for the day you asking me. <laughs> I've been waiting. For, I didn't want to ask because that's gay, but you offering, right, so I'm taking right, it, man. Okay, let's, do it. Let's, let's see how much tummy looks like, bro. Look at that. Oh, man. Are you, are you, are you, <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. Don't hold it in. Don't hold it in, dog. Let it out. <laughs> this, this is normal. Flex, flex it. Flex it. <laughs> in flex. Regular. Relax. <laughs> Damn, bro. I look like I'm pregnant. <laughs> huh. Oh, shit, dog. Mine's, mine's worse. Mine's, I'd say, mine's I mean, like, mine's, I think the difference to... between you and me is that I'm pale. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> mine's, if you, if you were to cut that, you know, out and then just paste it on this, it would look exactly the fucking same, dude. Just darker. All right, man. Let's get, let's get, let's get abs, bro. Let's get, let's get some abs. Oh shit, dude. That's funny. Do you? Uh, this is uh, P90X. Okay. Uh, video. Yeah. Um, it's 15 minutes long. Uh, you don't have to finish every set, but you just gotta keep on going until. Yeah. They're finished. Dude, there's a bunch of those on uh, YouTube, man. A lot of good ones, man. It's just, I don't fucking do them. <laughs> All right, um, let's do uh, the abs um, at least twice a week. Let's start with that. Okay. On one of those days, man, just 15 minutes. Okay. I think we got a, yeah. A hit, and, uh, a hit program? I think it's H-I-I-T. I think that one's, hit or, program? Or, 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 well, I think those are kind of more like overall body, not not really targeted okay. to abs. So I guess if you find an ab one, then just send it to Oh, me. I have one. Okay. I have one. I, I would definitely send it to you, and it's free, yeah. so it's uh, 15 minutes. It's on web, so uh, I'll send it to you. Cool. And uh, if anyone else that wants to follow along, I will paste paste the videos. Uh, join join the Discord, man. Go to the link and then join the Discord, and then uh, right, we'll, right, we'll make right. it into a uh, uh, a, a part of the. We'll, we'll make it into one of the tabs off to the side. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put in uh, hobbies. Where do you want to put in? Yeah, probably hobbies, right? Dope. Let's let's do it, man. Yeah, I, do I think yeah, dude, I think fifteen minutes, uh, like thirty minutes in a week. Fifteen, yeah, doable, man. Yeah, yeah, just, I mean, it's it's very doable. Just don't want to do it. <laughs> it's a it's a shitting session. Yeah, yeah, we we gotta do it, man. Cause uh, I man, I don't want to be old and still have this yeah. belly, dude. Like fuck, man. I gotta get my abs. I'm tired of being disgusting, man. I I deserve better. <laughs> okay, here's the next video.
Well, here we go. This is an MRI of a 74 year old man and a 70 year old triathlete. The dark gray part you're seeing is muscle and the white gray part is fat. What you might instantly notice is that the triathlete has more muscle than the 74 year old man. But besides that, there's also another big detail and that's bone density. If you look at both pictures, you'll see that the triathlete has bigger bones than the 74 year old man. Now here's where it gets interesting. Take a look at this other picture. This is the MRI scan of a 40 year old triathlete. Notice how similar it looks to the 74 year old. These photos are a clear example of either you use it or you lose it. Working out isn't just about looking good naked and being strong. What many people forget is that having more muscle mass and more bone density means a better overall quality of life, being more durable and independent, especially as you age. I don't know about you, but I wanna be able to wipe my own ass when I'm an old man. Yeah, has to add up to what we're doing, man. Yeah, dude, 100%, man. You know, like, uh, I think one of the biggest things is that, uh, like when I get old, I don't think I can let my kids wipe my ass or anyone other than me, you know what I'm saying, so. And that's the, that's the goal, man. Damn, man. I think I'm gonna die before 60, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I don't think I can see myself beyond 60, man. Like, I want, I want to move. You know, like, man. I just today I saw this uh, old man. Uh, he's older, maybe 70. Uh, he just moving really slow, man. Like, fuck, bro. That's gonna be me in like. Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> Ten years if you don't do shit right now, dude. Dude, right now, dude. Some days I'm just kind of like, uh, just sluggishly, just moving along, and I'm just like, Peter, what happened, man? Yeah, God, that 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 really saddens me, bro. And that's actually one reason why I'm still that I'm you know somewhat active too, you know, um, running, biking. Oh yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a bike now, so I've been biking. I biked uh, the other day, day off. Cool. Um. Biking, um, push-ups, so that that's really saddens me, man. And I know I can feel it in my bones too. Like fuck, man, I feel weak. And yeah. That sucks. Yeah. And I don't want to feel that way. Yeah. I was thinking about getting a uh, testosterone uh, boost shot. What do you think? Exercise first, and then if you're still weak as fuck. Then maybe do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been exercising though, you know. Like I haven't been like at the gym though. That's that's the thing. I haven't been at the gym in, in a minute. Yeah, and I still have a gym membership. I'm wasting my money, bro. That's how they um, make money, man. That's how they make that money, dude. They just get a bunch of people to sign up. That's it. Never use the damn place. <laughs> yeah, you you actually that's um, Planet Fitness's uh, business model. Yeah, they they do that. That's yeah. That's that's know. literally their slogan. We're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's his pizza on uh, Tuesday and uh, donuts on Mondays. That's hilarious, dude. Fuck, man. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I definitely want to uh, keep my health and uh, stay sexy and keep going. You know, I um I like that uh my um my. This person, this person, and um, she, she doesn't really work out, and she, all she has is like meat on her, and I don't know, man. For me, that's it's kind of sad. Like, it's just meat. It's there's no muscle. Like, she can't like tighten her muscle. It's just meat, and like, or even fat. I don't know what it is, but it's just dangling. You know, I'm like, damn, like. You just described all of America, brother. Yeah, every now and then, man, I just kind of like, you know, going about my day, I just see fat people everywhere. <laughs> I'm scrolling on Facebook, I just see fat people. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck happened to us, America? <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> dude, doesn't that make you sad, dude? Oh, like, uh, yeah, know. man. I'm just like, what happened, dude? We all like, we're eating ourselves to death, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking wild, dude. Fast food, too, man. That's that's one of the big problems. Dude. It's easy, it's yeah. fast, it's cheap. Processed foods, it's, yeah. Processed yeah. foods fucking us up. Um, it's it's. I think I think um, it's it's kind of like a few things, man. You know, our, our work life balance, you know, stress, and then um, you know, um, economically, you know, 
can't afford better food or, you know, we're just so goddamn stressed. We don't want to do anything to, we're paralyzed almost, you know, um, that, that plays a part, um, shit. You know, in, in a way, I'm I'm kind of glad that this is happening because this is how I look at it too. Um, like everybody is in this path, and I'm fucking like I want to win, so like it's so easy to win. That's how that's how I look at it too. It's like damn, like everyone just wants to be lazy. Yeah. Okay, dude. Like if I'm that one person that's just working just that much more than the average person, dude, I'm gonna win no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think David Goggins, so like, um, David Goggins said something like that too. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um, it's, I was thinking about um, this guy that was uh, uh, just doesn't do anything much, man. Um, I mean, I, I'm not saying like that. I do everything. I do a lot of things, but I know I'm trying yeah. to do something, and like I'm still pushing. And compared to the average Joe, like they actually don't do a lot. Yeah. And they're like thirties, mid thirties. You know, older than older than uh, than us. And uh, they're okay with it, and it's okay because I'm gonna win. Yeah. Ah oh, man. Um. Yeah, man. Life life is great, man. Life is great. There's always room for the best, brother. <sighs> all right, cool, man. So that's all the videos you got today, right? Uh, let's go into yeah. uh, let's go into the reddits. Reddit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reddit time. Oh, dude! The other day, uh, I saw this. Uh, What'd you see? This uh, bat. No, oh man, I, I shouldn't say that. She's already, <laughs> it. She's yeah, already well, said well, it. Well, you you hella said it. You um, hella said it. <laughs> I, I saw this uh, chubby chubby uh, mong kid okay. on the internet. Like she she was like well fed. Oh man, yeah. Like uh, at Thailand, dude. I'm oh, like, damn. Oh, like, is that how they get it? Yeah, they they're eating good over there, dog. Even Chill. like, even Thai people are getting fat as hell. No, well, I think you got to be wealthy, man. You got to have some kind of money to be fat. I think, because generally, you know, Thai people are very skinny people. They are. Oh, well, they're Thai Thai people. That are, but she's Hmong. I'm not sure. I mean, she, what I'm saying is like everybody's just getting fat, bro. Like. Even the kids are it's a, getting... It's a global problem. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's coming global, man. Uh, well, well, that's a good thing, you know? Like, uh, you know, that's like, like, like I think it was, um, I think Jordan Peterson or, or somebody like that, where they said that, like, you know, in the past, I think a few hundred years or even a hundred years, you know, uh, starvation has kind of, you know, dwindled down by a lot. So, so we're, you know, that's a good thing. It's just a matter now that we need to exercise, too. Yeah, true, 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 true. Congratulations for Chubby Chubby Mung Girl. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see, let's see the red. Reddit. Reddit. I'm gonna zoom in on this. Oh, oh, this is good. This could be a good one. All right, here we go. Okay. So rejected by oh uh, oh, uh, what's going on? I think I got a. Let me fix it. <laughs> yeah, I think you got allergies, bro. Okay, anyways. <laughs> rejected by by girl I was interested in. She still wants to be friends. What next? I, 29 male, met a girl, 26 female, through a dating app. We went out together every week for about two months now. She told me she felt comfortable talking to me. I felt the same. I really like her. A couple of days ago, I asked her, if she wanted to make things official, we met up today to talk about it, and she told me she enjoyed talking to me but does not feel attracted to me. She was honest and said that it was partly because I was kind of scrawny. <laughs> God damn. She mentioned that she's comfortable with meeting up with me as a friend. I'm not interested in meeting up just as a friend, but agreed to it as I felt that I still might have a chance. Do I? Just wanted to get this off my chest and seek some advice from anyone who ever faced such a situation before. What should I do? And then, uh, meanwhile, uh, I'll be starting a workout regimen to build up my body to look better, to look and feel better. Wow, man, that that just—it's almost More like relation. this was planned, man. Uh, so, so, yeah. What's the situation, brother? What's the? 
I, my thoughts on this man, obviously, man, she she's got other dudes, bro. She, and uh, she she obviously wants a masculine uh man because she pointed out that he was scrawny. So she obviously wants uh a masculine man. And I'm not sure he didn't mention anything about being fiscal, but like the thing about a girl is that if you are not fiscal with them, then you're gonna be in their friend zone. Like fiscal, that's, that's about? Just... like beat ass or Huh? We talking about physical? like 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 a uh, physical touch. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you know, giving her hugs and like you know. She don't know hands. how strong you are, man. You just look scrawny, but then you got that skinny man strength. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta show that, man. And, and like, come uh, here, she, girl. She uh, yeah. I don't think he's definitely in the friend zone. She's definitely got other dudes in mind. That's for sure. Uh, what he's doing is is perfect, man. Go ahead, go fucking work out. And you know what I suggest him to do is go fuck her best friend. Trust. Solid. Solid advice. Damn. Yeah, and then she's <sighs> going to want you. Standing, standing ovation. That was. Whew. You hit it here first. You heard it go here work first. Out, get some gains and then fuck her best friend. And then she'll come back. She'll come to you, man. If if there was if if there was any good advice to give, that was it. <laughs> okay, let's uh, uh actually actually before we go on. <laughs> what was your opening? I know, yeah, yeah. I, forgot, I I totally I totally shut down after I heard yours, man. I was like, dude, I can't top that, man. I can't top that advice. But I'm gonna try. So you know, getting rejected is not the end of the world, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, shit, dude. You know, just get your shit. Just keep on working on you. You, I think exercising is uh, is good in general. You know, whether you're trying to get a chick or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> could we just talk? About Keeps you mind occupied. Yeah. Uh, being scrawny ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? Like what we were talking about. You know, being fat. <laughs> you know, our our early conversation was just we don't have enough bone density. We don't have enough muscle mass. You know, this guy doesn't have that problem. You know, so it's good on you, brother. You know, them jeans. <laughs> them jeans are good on you. Um, it's not. It's not you. It's her. It's her. Yeah, it's her fat ass. You know what I'm saying? But um, shit. You know, just keep meeting people, man. You know what I'm saying? She ain't. There's eight billion. I think there's nine billion now. Nine billion people on this planet. You know what I'm saying? If you bisexual, you have access to all of them, man. But if you if you if you straight, then you only got a half, which is like what three three billion. You know what I'm saying? That's still still the odds are still in your favor, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I think people get caught up on being rejected and you know, oh, I, I just you know in the feels of the, about this chick, she's everything and she rejects yeah, yeah. me, and then now you know that's where I find my self worth is in. You know, being accepted by you know other people. You know, what I'm saying I think, I think you, I think that's why it's important to have, you know, your group of guys, right? Your your fellowship with your man. You know, what I'm saying like like your boys. You know, what I'm saying so that way they can you know hype you up or or you know tell you you know your worth, right? Um, so you have that group, and you also have your 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 solid friends and family who will love you unconditionally, right? You know, no matter how skinny you are or how fat you are or how stupid you are or whatever, you still have your group of people who love you. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the value of that piece. So that way, you know, some chick who don't see your value, right? You know, you, you, you'll, you will see your value. And the people who matter, you know, in your life will see, always see your value. So I think this guy, you know, he's 29. He's, he's still young. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's going to be working now. I think he's, I think he's got to figure it out, man. I think I think especially with your advice too, you know, you exercise and you fuck a friend, and then she'll realize I fucked up, you know. So cool. And uh, and here's here's the thing too that um it is it is a little bit harder for a guy to like find a girl, um so um my suggestion, man, um yeah, just you know get on dating apps, you know go to meetups. Um, if you don't find anybody still, man, lower your standards, dude. Step one, lower your standards. <laughs> Big girl need love too, bro. That was the lesson I... uh, two episodes ago, right, Frankie? That was the yeah, yes, sir. That was the lesson. 
<laughs> lower your status, man. After a while, if you can't find nobody else, man, lower your status, <sighs> man. You, if you think about it, if you get a pool of ugly fives or decent fives, if you get three of them in a group, they go up to at least a seven. So, and then when you bring them around, the girl, man, she gonna want you, dude. Trust. And then back to block them up, man. Fuck a, fuck a best friend. At that point, if that doesn't work, try the mom. <laughs> man, we just giving out solid advice for Reddit, man. Good old, good old solid um, advice. <laughs> Improving people's life. Okay, so ne- here's the next, the next one. one. All right. Can being too nice put you into the friend zone? Long story short, was in a relationship for six months and then got hit with the friend zone out of the blue. Was told by my ex that she was used to dating players, assholes, jerks, etc. And that she didn't know how to react to someone being nice and genuine. So she lost her attraction to me. This is as stupid as it sounds, correct? I don't need to be an asshole to keep a girl around, right? Edit. Since a lot of people are commenting, some additional background is that I'm not a nice guy, neck, beard, by any means. I can be playful asshole uh, when the time is right. Uh, that's a tough one, bro. Bro, the friends. What do you think? What do you think? Like, you want me to start this one off, man, dude? I yeah, think, uh, I like. think, I think, I think, you know, I think uh, people can kind of, you know, feel other people out, you know, where where it's it just kind of, you know, an animal instinct where like, like if you're just too nice for some fucking reason, you know, um, there's you can feel that there's a an agenda you know hidden right sometimes you can kind of feel that just, you yeah. know it's they're I being agree. nice and then you're just kind of oh this sounds familiar to something in the past i think i yeah. bet you somewhere down the line they're gonna ask for something right so there there's that kind of instinct where maybe he he may be nice but he comes off as you know slimy you know what i'm saying like he's only nice because he's trying to get in her pants or or you know where there's some kind of hidden agenda you know what i'm saying so i think i think that it might be that um, where where a person don't know how to genuinely be nice, um, or 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 maybe too nice, right? Um, to where you kind of kiss a ass and then it's you know. So I think I think I think there's a bit of that going on where it's kind of like, yeah. I think this guy's gonna ask for something. Maybe he's not even aware of you know how how he comes off or 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 that that's what he's doing sometimes, you know. So, cause, uh, well, I, I speak yeah. from experience too, man. Cause I I, I think like. You know, you you want people to reciprocate, you know, being nice and stuff. But sometimes that's true. You know, you do it because you want, you know, them to like you or accept you. And and I think, you know, you you, you, you don't come off nice anymore. You come off as desperate and people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like yeah. Desperate. You know. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, that's 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 true, man. Um. I, you know, it, it it goes vice versa with like with the homies too. If a, a, a yeah. friend is too nice, it's just kind of okay. Like I don't know how to be mean to you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, yeah, it's it it gets it gets awkward because uh, we all know that we all have a shitty side. Our friends, friends that stick together are the friends that can tease each other and like talk shit about each other to each other's face and also be okay with it and move on from that situation. I think those are the the tighter uh, friends, more genuine friends. Uh, even it goes with the girls too. Girls are actually they um, it's full of emotions, man, and they want to be leaded. You know, they want to feel like, oh, I'm wanted to do so. Like I'm wanted to do something. Like example, like hey, hold the door or grab me a drink. Like that service, like women, they. If they feel needed at a service, vice versa too, uh, with the man like, oh, can you go fix the light bulb for me? Can you go and fix this? Like, people will want, will feel wanted, you know, that way. If you're always so nice and you're the one that's always doing it, doing the service for them, then it feels like they are not all this person or something, you know? Oh it's yeah. Back to what yeah. you're saying, you know. I think I think that too, right? Is that he's too nice and I can't give back, you know? Shoot. Yeah, and like even if you 
did try to give back, they'll, oh, no, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Right? So it's like, okay, like, now I don't know how to give back. And that was awkward, yeah. you know? So I, I understand why she, she will want an uh, asshole. And uh, this is uh, one, of the, one of the better songs that I, suge- uh, I suggest listening to is uh, Nice Guys Finish Last, man. <laughs> By Kev Jumba? Nice is it Kev, is it Kev Jumba? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's why she would treat you like trash. <laughs> oh, man. Classic, dude. Um, oh, It's man. true, man. That that statement is true. Uh, even uh, shout out to Bao. Man, I've been in a friend zone with her for the longest time. Still in the friend zone. Um, okay. But, you know, it was great, though. I'm, I'm glad that, that me and her are good friends. Um, That's good. Uh, we thought about fucking a couple of times, but um, okay, just didn't happen because we just didn't want to ruin um, the friendship. That's and good, I'm, I'm glad we did it. Good. So good. I, th- I think sex can ru- definitely ruin a uh, friendship for sure. For I've uh, definitely ruined two uh, two relationships that way. That weren't from, yeah from, that weren't from uh, fucking that weren't um, worthy of saving anyways. So I think uh, mm. I think mm. we'll save that story for. After the show, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but um, but let's go to the next one. <laughs> All right, on to the next. That's my Oculus. Okay, here he goes. It depresses me seeing men who have it easy. How do you get over this? The amount of times I've seen someone. Lean, 6'4 guy with a dire- with a decent face just immediately have women super receptive just by talking to them depresses me. Oh boy. I'm not mad. I can't blame women for liking hot guys, obviously. It just makes me feel inadequate. That's it. Constantly hearing from women about how they love tall guys just feels like a punch in the gut over and over or blue eyes and blonde hair. And I feel like the internet constantly gaslights me by saying, no, the female gaze is complicated. Women don't care about height. And it's like, all right, I guess I don't actually have eyes or ears or anything. Body dysmorphia cured. It's not like I don't think I'll ever find love. I know my value, but I know I'll never be truly desire, be truly that desirable. I'm boyfriend material to a niche of women. But I'm absolutely invisible to everyone else. I'll never be hot. I'll just be cute to a few women whose friends think I'm the most mediocre looking man on earth deaf true from experience I just want to feel desirable you know and if I can't get past this feeling I never actually want to meet a wife because I'm so preoccupied with getting validation mmm man that speaks Um, that speaks to a younger me man that speaks to a younger me so much yeah yeah definitely what you think um how you feel first off this guy is definitely an average Joe, brokey, what Edgerton will say. <laughs> um, because if you if you go by looks, yeah, I mean, obviously we, we're gonna you know f- not fall through because we're not fucking six feet and tall. Um, but at the end of the day, man, um, it's just stage. I feel it's just stage, man. Once yeah. you get over that, that. Um, this stage you be you be just fine and knowing your value and you'll find the right person and take care of yourself take good hygiene if you ugly dead ugly you just gotta make money bro i'm sorry um if you're that ugly and you're like we're really sure like you you, you know sh- you, you should be you should be making money reg- regardless <laughs> whether you're ugly or 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 pretty you know what i'm saying <laughs> I think that's you have a better advantage <laughs> if you have money, you know. Um, uh, that's that's the reality of it too. That if you're ugly and you're broke. Damn, you're literally at the bottom of the food chain, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you have money, you are at least like competing against six feet tall dudes. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, that's all I gotta say with that one, dude. Like, shit, that's that was kind of tough. That was uh like the like the old me, like. A younger me. Oh my god! Yeah. It sounded, it sounded like the younger me, man. I, I think, uh, I think a, a bit of that too, right? To kind of help, 
to do get over that is that you know you you gotta you gotta get into some pussy you know what i'm saying and realize that it ain't all that you know i think uh i think that helped out yeah. that helped me out you know um um i think i think uh you definitely have to work on you know getting a sense of security within yourself man i, I think ultimately like the this insecurity peace right is a big issue for like you know a bunch of you know uh, men and women you know um body dysmorphia i think is is a problem um and you know i think i think once you can kind of find you know uh security in yourself right from from yourself you know i, I think that'll help out a lot you know swimming some pussy you know, really, you know, connect with your group of guys and then connect with your family, you know what I'm saying? That's where you find your security, you know, because, like, if the world is against you, you'll always have, you know, your security piece. And I think that'll that'll be healthy, I think, um, mentally. or And, and you know, I, I think I think a push, too, man, is just get your passport, dude, you know what I'm saying? Go overseas and then realize that the... Um, the uh the standards right the the standards here in the u.s is totally different from different countries dude you know what i'm saying um, because the, you know women women here probably won't date you as much as you know maybe in the philippines or maybe um in mexico or, or africa you know, other, other africa's good too. yeah so uh up uh germany australia yeah all these other places yeah. man that'll yeah that'll take you ugly ass you know what i'm saying <laughs> I agree, man. I completely agree. Beauty, beauty um, standards are so different everywhere else, man. You know. Yeah, well, Western girls. Uh, honestly, man, if you do get a girl that, in in the Western country here, like it's really like the chance of them being really loyal to you is pretty slim. Yeah. So, you might as well just go overseas, man. Yeah. And, you, get, uh, you you catch a nine, she gonna leave your ass anyways, you know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So you gotta either you know go overseas or then again lower your standards. <laughs> uh, there's that method too man there's that method too dog uh, uh, can't afford passport no other standards man you can always afford that you can always afford that you know I think I think it's so wild man like 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 our humanity right because I think I think regardless of I, th I think I think I don't know for some reason we're just trying to find validation in other people you know um and, I, and that's why we need our security um in our our own people right in our lives that care about us you know i, I think um i think like like um in finding a relationship we're always just kind of you know it's, it's kind of a game where like who can fuck over who and then you meet someone where you don't want to fuck them over anymore and and you know it, it's kind of weird you know does that yeah yeah um you're like, dude, do you watch like animal like documentaries like <laughs> yeah, chimpanzees yeah. and like how what was like yeah. uh we're, we're animals man we're just like them like yeah. uh like chimpanzees dude like all of us are just like hierarchies and like there's always got to be like that leader there's always going to be like that beta and then there's always got to yeah. be uh the other dude so yeah. find your shoes you know find your crowd find your shoe and uh you know take on the world man and uh you can't be off on first day, dude. You gotta work your way up, man. Work your way up. There's gonna be a lot of lessons gonna be learned. So, cool, man. It's 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 insane, man. This this world is uh, full of love and hate, and the balance of it is is uh, so the complicated, but yeah, it's he, so simple as well. Humanity is complicated. I I think you know. I think one thing too that's kind of like um like complicated, right? Because it's not all like. We're, we're not mere cats you know we're not trying to you know find our tribe all the time you know because there's we have the government we have these world powers and these world leaders who are kind of and in these like big corporations who are you know putting out messages and, and really influencing and changing the narrative of you know you know our society and what we think you know so i i think that's that's also a real big um denominator in and when you're trying to live your life you know yeah that's that's true but we had a lot of influences from from the media and uh the media knows too man the matrix they know i gotta blow my nose dude Hold sounds on. like it <laughs> yeah yeah allergies bro that's what it sounds like, like dude. 
you wanna talk to that? Yeah. So check it out every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We go live here on Discord. You know, you're seeing, you know, we're, we're doing this on Discord technically, right? But then I'm using OBS to record it. So if you want to join in live, you know, join the Discord. We're looking for guests all the time. Uh, nobody, nobody wants to be a guest. Uh, but if you want to be a guest, man, let us know. Hit us up in the uh, message, whether you're seeing this on Facebook or um you know, on all the other platforms that we're on. Um, and also, speaking of the other platforms, check those out. Link in the description, man. It's the the link tree. We'll have all our new stuff, our most recent stuff, and all our, you know, platforms that we're on. Uh, we're doing, we're growing. I think I'm going to share a little, some numbers with you guys. Um, let me see. I didn't pull it up here. So, for the month of, for the month of May. On all our platforms, we reach 50,000, eh, a little more than 50,000, but 50,000 people uh, we reached, right? So, you know, that, that was the month that we first started. And then in June, right, last month, for the month of June, we hit 111,000 people, right? We reached, you know, our content is reaching that many people from, you know, all across the states. Um, majority, actually, Chicago, Dallas, Houston. And LA are the four places that are um, hitting hard. Uh, so, you know, we're projected this month to be in the 200K. So that's going to be, it's going to be real are good. Are we talking about the weather? Nope, no, no. Uh, we're talking about our reach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, we're getting outside the country too. Laos. I think Laos is one of them. Vietnam. <laughs> Laos, Vietnam. And, and Philippines too, actually. I think Philippines oh, too. Oh, you're down to your passport, yeah, so, Kuz. Uh, Yes, sir. We get, we're getting. Uh, I think uh, Vietnam was one of a bigger fan base. Wow, which is kind of cool. <laughs> oh shit! Let's go. Let's get this. The only way of truly letting someone go is to first acknowledge and accept that you're attached, but then understand the reason why you're attached. What is that person giving you or providing that you will miss once they're gone? And whether it's love or acceptance or respect or validation, whatever it is, if you're struggling to let it go, it's because you don't have it within yourself and there will be a lack of it once they're gone. And then you realize that it's not the person that you will miss, it's the feeling. And if you work on you and if you work on that lack of, again, love or acceptance or validation, you will come to terms with the fact that the purpose of that person in your life was to make you realize that you have to work on those things and help you come back to yourself and grow. But then, they had to leave. Okay. Deep, deep, deep. Mm hmm? Did you mm -hmm. purposely? Did you, you chose this for me, huh? <laughs> kind of. Mm -hmm. so, 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 my wife actually shared that with me. And then I was like, "Oh, okay." Mm, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. <laughs> but that, that was good, man. That's solid, dude. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." What are your thoughts, brother? Uh, I, you know, this is, you know, I know, I know, my mom is watching this sometimes. Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, she she knows about this podcast. It's kind of cool. Uh, but uh, you know, one thing that I that I missed from X was uh uh the intimacy you know yeah yeah and uh you know cuddle cuddle sessions um I guess the validation too in a way but honestly if I really really think about it dude yeah I'm glad I'm single bro <laughs> okay I'm glad I'm single because uh I don't think there was just no real benefit from it man I think I just felt like it would be cool to have somebody there, yeah. you know. So uh, I don't know. I think it's just like it's. It was hard to let go, of, like of moments that we had, you know, before. We had good times. We had, uh, and then it just kind of turned to chaos, bro. I I guess I guess I kind of do miss her, like like, you know, treating me well and like uh, treating me like a. Like a king, you know, 
and uh that felt that felt good dude it felt good and uh i didn't i didn't really uh cherish it at the time and looking back at it, i'm like man i'm a dick i'm an asshole i should never like like that because like if, if, i think if i encouraged her to do it more i think she would like do it more but like i didn't uh it's one thing that's kind of been in my mind like damn she was a good person she did try to like spark things up you know and uh i, I fucked it up real good well you know for a hundred bucks you can get you can get a pussy you know what I'm saying? or get arrested <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I look at that video and then, um, I think about my, my past relationships, right? That, uh, yeah, yeah. Like how, how I felt about the past relationships. I think some of those, you know, I, I, I was looking for, um, validation. I, I, I think validation is a good word, man. Just, just, just someone to care about and reciprocate that piece as well. Right. Yeah. To, to have yeah. somebody accept me for who I am and then to to love me for it, right? So I was looking for that piece. And I I I found it in my wife, you know, and, and then I think I think the reason because of that too, right? Just kind of that desperation for that, you know. I, I felt like, you know, when I when I think back, I, I felt, you know, I, I feel like I felt that desperation, that need for that hunger for that, that desire for it kind of oh yeah much. Um, you, you definitely did for sure i remember <laughs> yeah, you definitely did dude thanks for like thanks for confirming that <laughs> yeah because i remember just hey now with you you like, you were just like sad bro like it was just like you wanted to do something you wanted to like i like, just meet something or like just like touch somebody in a way oh, i remember dude the, it, it showed it showed on your face it showed in body language how you talk how you hung out with us it was just kind of like the same thing, you know, but different night. But you wanted to get out from that to go somewhere else. That's why you, when you met uh, uh, your wife now, you took off so quickly. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> he's getting married? It was like, whoa, he's moving to Wisconsin? the hell? <laughs> I'm like, hey, all right. Uh, I think, shit. Uh, That's funny. How long How long have you guys been dating and then you moved out? It, was like, it wasn't that long, was it? It was under, yeah, it was under a year. Yeah, it was. it was, it was pretty short. Yeah, uh, but it wasn't a surprise though. I was like, "All right, man." <laughs> I think you definitely needed uh, or wanted uh, emotional support. Yeah, in a way. I think okay. And, so uh, so you know what I was gonna transition to was I I think like I didn't quite get that like how I wanted to from yeah. my parents, you know, and then so that's why I I desperately seek that out in you know. In uh, that, so. Okay. Yeah, that uh, makes sense, man. That makes total sense. Because uh, I think at the time, uh, Emily was already married, right? She already, she's already out of the house. It was just you in the house alone. Yeah. Um, I think we were just kind of... I think okay, I think that was the time when uh, you... We had the uh, make rain and, and you dropped out, right? And you wanted to figure... Time. Around that time, yeah. You wanted to figure uh, things out. And then... Uh, I remember that time, man. It was uh, a lot of emotions that was going through you. Um, but you know, I'm I'm glad you found uh, a lot your of wife alcohol now going and... through me too, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of alcohol. Uh, I remember, man. The one time you at Los's place, you were really fucked up. <laughs> you know, you were crying, man. You were like, and then you you flew like 15 <laughs> feet. Oh man, good old times, dude. Oh man, I remember that so vividly too. <laughs> oh man, that's why you know. That's why like that that time in my life, man. I I just like love my brothers, man, because you guys kept me together as much as you know possible, you know. And ah, uh, it's, it's, it's just bad times for me, but growing moments, you know, at the same time. You know? I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you uh were able to seek out your way to find. Baku and 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 you know, get married and and do what you wanted because, like obviously like you you're the one that gonna make the choice and you know push forward with your life and what you want to do, and honestly we were just there to support you man you know like as much as yeah like right or wrong whatever it may be like 
it was like support, dude, you know, yeah. whatever you did. And uh, I know, I know you wanted something though. <laughs> it was it was good, man. Uh, I wanted that one pussy for life, man. That's what I. That's all I was looking for, man. You know. I think I remember. I thought you you like oh you you had that one nice a one night stand. And you're like man. I don't like you. You don't like it at all. You're like, man, I don't, or something like that. <laughs> you didn't feel complete, dude. Oh, oh man, I hope, I hope, I hope your wife is not watching this one. But uh, it was uh, it's one of the uh, yeah, yeah, the bigger, the bigger white girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm man, like, you, know, you know that you know that uh, the advice we give people lower your standards. You know, we I lived it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I lived it. <laughs> Uh, so true. Solid dude. advice, dude, man. I'm, Solid advice. Well, I I've always thought that um that you she she was taller than you too, huh? Yeah, she or about the same height. Yeah. Uh, she yeah she, she was she was uh she was ginormous. She was like a giant to me. Um, uh, but yeah, oh, no, she she was cool. She was cool. She was cool. Yeah. I'm a man, Peter. He's a man. All right, man. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, uh, dude, I got a lot of stories. I have, I have a lot of untold stories that we're gonna save for a different time, man. Uh, I definitely I, gotta, I gotta, I definitely gotta share those stories though with you and the, with the boys, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not, not not for the past, but in Patreon, if you subscribe, we'll be on Patreon. No, we could do an episode like that, huh? Like tell like all our cancelable stories <laughs> on, on Patreon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that would be that be yeah. That's that's what definitely what we gotta do. You gotta I got, do a, a. I got a. I got a. I got some crazy stories, bro. <laughs> I'll. Uh, I'll I'll share. I'll share. I'll share a little yeah, bit okay, okay, after okay. the show. After the show. Let's, let's, let's save it on the uh, the uh, the picture. Oh, picture. That's funny. Um. Uh, on to the next. Yeah. There's a woman in a room. Let me pull it up. A million dollars. Here we go. A million dollars, 1993, today is now $2,070,000. Inflation in five years will probably devalue half of everyone's money listening to this in their 401ks, IRAs, and their soft saving accounts. Um, like right now, the world is a wreck, and their only solution to the devaluation is they're gonna have to work harder. Over the last 20 years, 2002 to 2022, salaries have increased 27% but the cost of a home has gone up 148%. In other words, like our cost of living and lifestyles is not keeping up. Average person drives a $60,000 a year car that has a $50,000 a year salary with over $100,000 of student debt, 60% of America living check to check. We have a problem and being busy is not the solution and getting another job is not the solution. You have to graduate and develop more of the Gen Z millennial mind that says there's gotta be a smarter way. It can't be the immigrant way of just work harder because there is something to say for hard work, but if it's not smart enough hard work, then it's stupid work, it's dumb work. And there's a lot of financial idiots out there that have just not gotten themselves educated. Is that, uh, mm -hmm. is that scary? Not really, man. I think I think uh, I think it's 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 where we are right now. Yeah. But I don't think it's it's going to be us in 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 twenty years because um or, or our kids because the population is going down, bro. Yeah. We're not we're not like this is the most we're ever gonna have in this world. Like like literally, because just because nobody wants to have kids, and by the time like. Your kids turn eighteen. Like, there's not gonna be a lot of eighteen year olds, yeah. and the world's gonna either go. They have it has to go down, man. It has to go down. The the uh, the house how housing housing's gonna go down. Education might even be free at that point. They're gonna be so desperate to you know, get people in here. Um, I think it's gonna be the opposite, man. I think it's just what we are right now as a as a country where we are suffering. And inflation is real. Gas prices going up. Power prices going up. But I think it's going to only last for so long. Um, I think ten more years, and then something's going to change, dude. Yeah. I don't think um, it's going to be forever. 
I don't know, man. It's, it's gonna be it's it's, uh, it's iffy future, you know. Because like like you said too, right? The older generation are gonna drop off, and then right now I think the um, the most population is uh, is millennials and Gen Zs, right? But then in terms of birth rate, um, you know that's that's on a significant decline, and that yeah, you know I I think that's gonna be a, the current you know going forward. That's gonna be the trend because of all this economic stuff. Uh, cause man, dude, I tell you, man, it's not easy. I mean, we're, we're still technically in an apartment, but my, my biggest fear is we get a house and then we're just slaving to live in the house, you know? Uh, cause I want, I want that, you know, bag of money to, to be able to do some entrepreneurial adventure, you know, but you know what I'm saying? Like buying a house or, or, you know, you know, really locking down in one place is just scary right now. Uh, cause I want to be able to afford you know, a certain lifestyle for my kids and to have the, the experience. So, man, anybody, anybody out there who's, who's not having kids, man, it's, 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 I, I feel you, you know what I'm saying? But, but those of you who are single parents or, or, you know, or who are just, you know, regular a couple of parents who are raising kids, man, you know, keep on doing what you're doing and, you know, learn, learn about money. I, I think that's real, real important with what this guy mentioned, you know, is you just gotta be money smart, you know, financially educated. Cause I, because yeah. the traditional methods, right? You know, 401ks and Roth IRAs, you know, those those are just kind of not as effective in, in our current times, you know. Um, working two jobs and a side hustle is not going to cut it. You know, you, you really have to, you know, the cost of living is, is exponentially, you know, against us, you know. And that's why, like, our, current, our, our previous conversation before, you know, there's some kind of agenda to keep us poor, you know, whatever the government or, or these big corps are, are influencing, you know, people to buy dumb shit and to do dumb shit and, you know, trying to separate families so that way we don't, you know, come together and stuff like that. You know, it, it, there's a lot of going on, you know, and that's how, like, for me and my family, you know, I'm, I'm real focused on our, you know, tightening up our money, you know, and then um, tightening up our, our uh, work ethic and then our family values so that way... In the future, when things do settle down, when the dust clears, then you know we'll be ready for um, being prosperous. You know, so. that's great, dude. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're uh, financially, yes, uh, stable. You know, yeah. and uh, you got your shit together, which is great, man. I, lo- I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Uh, something that I'm trying to do as well, and that I'm doing right now. And uh, I, man, if I was, if I what I knew now, what I knew. Four years ago, I think I would be in so much better shoes, bro. Because my my spending four years ago was was horrendous. <laughs> yeah. And money's at bars and and stupid shit. Ah, waste of money, bro. Yeah. Going out to eat and spending a hundred bucks a night for for dumbass dinner, man. It, um, just financially irresponsible. And like I honestly could have made. And save money and invest in it on something way better that it's gonna benefit me four years from now, five years from now, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man uh, broke people, man. Poor people are poor because they buy. And this is saying that I, I was listening to the podcast today. They were saying, uh, <clears throat> poor people, fuck, man, I forgot the saying. I can't, I can't recite it, but um, forget it, drop it. But anyways, uh, the same was kind of saying, uh, poor people will buy and they expect they want to make more to fulfill their life. But at the end of the day, that's just not how it is, man. You just got to have a balance in your life. And um, that's how the rich is rich, man. You get the balance. You, know, you don't need to get a fucking uh, range over. You're not making enough. You, you, know, you don't need to get a, a big ass house whenever you're struggling, you know, so. Uh, and the rich man, they 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 take their time, man. They they're smart with it, you know. Um, they're okay with they what they got. Uh, you know, use the ten percent rule. You know, just if you can afford it, like ten percent of your cash flow can buy a cash out of car, do it. But a hundred percent or fifty percent, nah, I don't do it, man. I was going to get BMW. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, no. Uh, but. My credit is going up, dude. My credit is going up. Oh, it's, it went up. Did yeah, it went up to uh, went to uh, seven hundred. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was yeah. at it was at 
550 for the longest time, bro. Yeah. It was so powerful <laughs> when, when you just, you know, wipe your debt away, right? I mean, not cancel anything, but you just pay off everything. Yeah. And, like, you live debt, yeah. you know, debt free, and your, your credit just kind of grow, you know, little by little, by little dude. Yeah, man, I was using the uh, Robert Kawasaki, you know, just using the credit and then uh, just paying it off, uh, you know, use credit and then uh, pay off the uh, the debit, use my actual money to pay off the credit monthly and be responsible too, man. That's all it is, too. Like, you got to be really responsible, Self, dude. Self-control, and, dude. It's the self-control, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. I want that, you know, whatever it is. Do I need it? Hell nah, but it's just. The animal urge to want to buy shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Man, let me tell you, dude, I got so many cars on Facebook that I, I saved just because I want to buy it, man. There's this uh, yeah, Geo, Geo Tracker, dog. There's a Geo Tracker. I think it's 93 or something. Uh, it's got yeah. the, it's got the all wheel drive, man. It's got it's in good condition. Old guy owns it, and it's, it's the paint is not faded, nothing. Just like barely any rust underneath. 3500, dude. I'm about to. I'm like. I could just buy this shit right now, man. I just don't. Hey. Have to tell, I don't have to tell my wife, man. You know, <laughs> I just park it somewhere and she'll never know it exists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, nah, oh, dude, I man, gotta, I gotta be responsible, man. Yeah. I uh, yeah, yeah. I got the same urges as you, man. Uh, but honestly, if I could uh, afford it, like a um, uh, I probably would do it. If it's uh, if it's ten percent of my stuff. I would definitely cash it out, but you know, but that's that's me being single. You 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 got a you got a spouse, so <laughs> yeah, I discuss with her. You gotta so damn my kid's future. Damn it, <laughs> I gotta think about that. Fuck, I can't think, think about that, man. Selfish bastards. Okay, <laughs> next video. Huh? Next video. Yeah, yeah, let's go on next one. Okay. <laughs> Why are men wanting to end their own lives? Numbers show men are three to four times more likely to die by suicide than women. I'm fortunate enough to belong to men's groups where I get to hear men talking openly and vulnerably about their struggles. Participating in these conversations allows me to break out of the prison of solipsism and despair that I sometimes naturally feel. I've had thoughts like that in my life many times and oftentimes it's been because I've been uncertain of my purpose, unsure of how to be useful and of service to other people, often feelings of deep shame about my body and my identity and what my purpose here is and what value I can offer to society. And I think without the ongoing support of a group of men and mentors, I would struggle. If you are considering the most radical action possible, I personally reach out to you in open heartedness and good faith to let you know that things can always improve and it's never worth taking that step. Stay free. See it first on Rumble. Uh, can, you, can, you, can you play the, uh, the first five seconds again? I, did, I missed the first five seconds. Oh, okay. the first. Yeah. Why are men wanting to end their own lives? Numbers show men are three to four times oh. more likely okay. to die by suicide than women. Okay. I'm fortunate. Yeah. Uh, man, actually, I thought about this too the other day. Um sad reality is that nobody gives a shit what men feel bro yeah like sad stories sob stories nobody gives a shit dude yeah. like but we do need to vent out uh sometimes you know and uh it's it's, it's good to find a space like that a safe space but if you do it to the wrong person you vent out to the wrong person um you're you're known as weak you know you will get uh disrespected and uh they will use that against you when when moments come uh it's uh that's the reality of it man um they will use you uh, they will use it as a weapon especially at, in a social environment to degrade you and make them look better and knowing that you are sobbing about you know a certain thing that's why i don't even really talk to a lot of people uh about you know breakups or like shit that happened to me like and then they do like 
I talked to my mom about it, bro. Cause my mom, I know that for sure. My mom, no, she don't judge. I mean, I thought I talked to you to it about it a couple of times too. But I know you're fucking tired of hearing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you called her again? Come on! Yeah. It's a fourth time. Stop picking <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, no, it is. That's it, what I'm tired exactly. of hearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like going back and forth, man. Like we all, we all know what we, what we're supposed to do, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's exactly what it what it is, dude. Like you can't go back and uh, the same story and cycle, but wasting time. And I after you know after um like about two weeks ago, dude, like I just really realized that like I don't nobody really gives a shit, dude. Yeah. Like really, that's 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 what it is. Yeah. Like um. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. I don't, yeah, no, don't nobody, nobody, sad. nobody, nobody's trying to empathize or sympathize with, with you know. They're, yeah, they're, if anything, they're actually glad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, okay, cool. It happened. All right, cool. That's really it. Yeah. <sighs> That's it. Yeah. Nobody cares, man. Move on. Uh, but if you do want to vent out and you do uh, want to um, talk to somebody, I do highly recommend talking to a stranger or talking to. Um, go on, uh, oh, oh, was it Omega? Omega. 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 <laughs> oh, go Omega and vent out, man. Vent out and then I. I think I think that's a good practice. I think that's what, I think I think that's what it's kind of you know turned into. You know that's why people black out their screens so they can say the n word or they can say you know all kinds of crazy stuff and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To vent. vent it out, man. <sighs> but then day, yeah, it's just work on yourself, bro. Um. I know that uh, men they do tend to suicide more yeah. than than a woman, yeah. um, because we do have it harder than than women, and that's okay. And uh, these hard times are supposed to build you as a as a build character, and it's gonna build your life. It's gonna bring you closer to God and yourself, man. And that's the truth. Um, God give you these situations so you could conquer them and go on to the next one and be strong and you can share it with uh, people who are going through the same struggles with you or been through the same struggle you can share it help them out you know so um, you're not alone you're not alone I I really like that man I think um, one of the biggest things is like you know uh, a friend of ours I think David I think David from Tulsa David Vang he said uh, one Uh, time in in a Facebook post he said you know, I don't pray for an easy life. I pray for a strong back, you know. And the idea is that, you know, life is going to be hard regardless of wherever you go in life, right? I think ultimately yeah. you have to be the one who carries the weight of the world, right? With, with you know, yeah. your, your support group and all that stuff. But, you know, your life is your life, you know. Your problems are your problems. And then, you know, you have your support group. But, but ultimately it's going to be you that's going to have to make that effort, you know, make that climb and, and, and carry, um, you know, your family to, to a, a better future, you know? So I think, I think, I think that's, that's a, a good message, uh, what you said. Yeah, that's true, man. Uh, because it's either that or you give up and you just don't do anything. And, uh, only time is going to pass by and you're only going to get older if you let that happen. And, I mean, I don't recommend that at all. I know that you know some of y'all are maybe stuck in that shoe, uh, but find a purpose, man. Find a find find a to find purpose too is to find something that you value, something that encourages you to to do better, um, like a girl or something, uh, a car. You know, you want a nicer car. Better girl. I'm, I'm buying that car, Frank. You talked me into it, man. I'm about to make some bad financial decisions. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's going to turn out good, man. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to cruise. You're going to feel good about yourself. Yes. Like, yeah. Yes. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, 100%, you know, um, like the law of attraction, right? I think, I think you know, that's kind of with the, um, you know, the, the, the joy of the journey of life, right, is that you're, you're trying shit, you know what I'm saying? You're trying things and then, you know, um, you're, you're finding people, you're meeting new people and and you, you find what, you know, eventually you find something that you're in tune with that aligns with who you are 
in your being you know you find people who are you know in alignment with who you are and in, in, in your being mm -hmm. and I, I think you know in your moment of of weakness or in your moment of um you know desperation or, or, or sadness i think there is that you know light at the end of the tunnel is that you know it's it's not the at, you're not at the end of your rope you're not at the end of you know what you're called to in life you know that if you continue to keep searching if you continue to um having this ambition of of life right um to explore life and and to continuously you know um go on this journey I, you'll find you find your spark you know i i think i think that's the the light at the end of the tunnel man because i you know I, i've been i've been in uh in a dark place once you know shared it with uh you know the boys once and and you know how i got over that personally it was just having perspective you know that my life is is great you know compared to a, a large majority of people on earth right and i have the the uh the luxury of 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 you know being able to freely explore you know this journey you know so i think i think for those of you guys you know who who are just kind of just really feeling down i think i think i think um you know hit us up you know what i'm saying we, we can share some kind of insight you know what i'm saying because we we want to be of of help for for people out there you know what i'm saying for for men's health and yeah, for everybody's mental health really you know that life life can be hard uh, 100% I empathize and sympathize with, with everybody out there you know um, you know just kind of our society feels like it's just kind of falling apart you know or, or you know trouble at home you know I've been there too you know I can express on that um, you know life life is great and it's only gonna get better man I, I guarantee you you know everybody who's listening and who's going through some shit you know um, we sympathize with you and uh, stop being a little bitch and get out of that couch and work out. <laughs> I'm serious, man. You got, you got, uh, you got to talk to that the inner voice that's like telling you to uh, not do it. And you, you tell the inner voice that I call it the, the inner bitch to shut that inner bitch up, and then defeat that bitch, and then freaking conquer your life, man. Because time is going by so quick, dude, and like. In a snap of a finger, man, you're gonna be fat, oh, man. and you're not gonna like it. When you're 40 and you're fat as fuck, you're ordering pizza from Domino's, and you're asking for extra ranch, and they're charging you 50 cents, and you're upset about that. That's what, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You don't want to get to that point, man. Be upset about ranch packets of they're charging you 50 cents for it, and you're really upset about. It. You're calling corporate. You're on the corporate phone for an hour complaining about 50 cents uh, ranch you don't want that shit dude like get your shit together man and um we're all here to, to help each other out and this is tough love too dude like it's not easy peasy all the time like that's the real shit like get your shit yeah. together and, like, back man yeah. Peter is playing good cop <laughs> good cop back up <laughs> No, I, I think you worded it uh, um, perfectly, dude. You know, the inner bitch. Because sometimes it feels like that, right? You're you're in your own mind and then, you know, you, you have conversations with yourself saying, you know, I, I feel like this and you're, you're Debbie Donner to yourself, you know. And then you, you still have the power to say, hey, you know what I'm saying, I ain't, I ain't going to be this Debbie Donner, you know. So I, I agree 100% yeah. with what you said, man, you know. And uh, that, that analogy was very specific. I <laughs> I like that one too. Wow, ranch, fifty cents. I never would have thought of that, man. That's very specific. <laughs> uh, just man, uh, I look at uh, some people that are like older, and they they have really. I'm oh, pretty sure you met these yeah. kind of people before too. They have nothing to do, so they come out and complain about why are you out in the streets for so long? I'm like, bitches, what is what like? Why are you being a Karen right now? Like, just no reason. Yeah. Just complaining. And, like, you don't want to be that person. Like, enjoy life. Enjoy you. Enjoy the decisions that you make, man, and not have regrets. And there was a – I think I shared this before, too, that um, there was this journal, journalist. He went to a retirement home, and they asked, uh, what was the biggest regret? And most of them said that. 
they wish they would have lived more and took yeah. more risk. Yeah, man. 100%. Just think about that shit, dude. And you don't want to be in that 70 years old in a freaking uh, home, in a home, and it's saying, damn, I regret it. I wish I would have went rock climbing. Yeah. And I can't do that because I'm freaking eating Domino's pizza. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be that, man. Like, just live it up, bro. Live it up. Yeah, that's, no. a, that's a good uh, good ending ending point, huh? Would you say? One last thing, one last thing, one oh. last thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of lost it, but um, yeah, I did lose it. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Um, but um, and then they uh just um enjoy life, man. And uh, oh, okay, I I I, I got it. Um, uh, this is a moment in my life that me personally that I'm enjoying. In my age of 29, and I wish I would have enjoyed this when I was 18 of me being sober. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. Like, if I was sober back then, like, and just enjoying and loving the moment, how, how I'm doing right now, like, I will have so much more abundance. I mean, I, I have it now, too, but, like, if I was younger... Man, I post so many bitches, bro. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> but uh, like, it really enjoying it, and and not relying on uh, like substance to to make you feel better. You know, escaping the shitty feeling of being alone, depressed, whatever it may be, man. Um, substance was always the escape for me, and um. I still think about it every now and then, but you know what? The inner bitch is not going to get to me, bro. I can't. It's already out of my life. So, um, yeah, man, I, I, I enjoy um, my life right now, being uh, sober. And I'm, I'm happy to say, man. Awesome, dude. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm proud. Of, I'm, I'm wearing it probably my back, bro. And um, I love it, dude. Cool. So. That's a good, good ending spot. That's gonna be. That's gonna make the reels for sure. Let's get it. The Domino's Pizza. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make it too. <laughs> All right, everybody watching. Uh, you wanna check the comments real quick? Uh, everybody watching. You know, every Thursday, you already know, man. Make I, don't, it rain I don't have my phone. I don't have my phone. Oh shit! That's right. Jordan has. Yeah. I okay, it's fine. Check. We'll check uh, after the show. But uh, every Thursday, oh. 8 p.m. Central uh, Pacific Central Time, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, man. Um, Make It Rain Podcast. We're here every Thursday. Today, poker night. 8 o'clock. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Pretty much after this. You know, join the Discord. The link is in the description, in the bio. You know, go to our profile. If you can't find it, you know, find it. Uh, Join us. Uh, Watch. Watch as Frankie cheats this time as well. Um, You know. Uh, I think I think I think you might get this round. To be honest, I think you might get it. This I, round. I don't so. think I'm gonna get it. There's so, no man. way I'm gonna win two in a row. There's no way. Like the my ego, is, my it. ego cannot let it, man. My, <laughs> my ego cannot handle the first losses. Definitely can't be able to handle the second loss. But with that being said, man, uh, we're looking for players. How many players we got? We need uh, five players. Um, so we have Izzo. Izzo's Izzo, Izzo's Izzo's oh, coming back. Okay. The same guys. Okay. Um, I think Dato might come too. I haven't reached out to Dato yet. Yeah. Uh, I think Dato's coming back. So we have uh, six, no, two more slots. Tight, left. sweet. You know, so join us there, man. Uh, follow us on all our, you know, platforms. TikTok is is booming. You know, uh, yeah, follow yeah, us yeah. there. You know, you can support us, support us everywhere. Uh, with that being said, man, see you. You have any last words, Frankie? Yeah, uh, join us, man. Join join on TikTok. Follow TikTok. Uh, we're blowing up on TikTok. It's um, this beginning stage is what. We love to do. Uh, we strive for uh, for you guys. We give content for you guys, and we love doing this. We love just having a conversation and sharing thoughts with you guys. And we we'll definitely want you guys to be part of the the community, especially if we're starting off like this again, man. It's it's awesome. Uh, we love our community. So um, join us on Discord and let's get some poker going. Tight. Peace. Peace. Oh man, that was good.